Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exhaust State Comics. I am Justin. Today we're doing a new haul for books that came out on July 10th, so I hope you are having a great new comic book day. You were able to go get all the books that you wanted today. Um, the only book that I didn't grab that I'll probably just read digitally, and if I really, really like it, is Invisible Woman. I don't know. I'm on the fence, so I'm going to just do the digital read, and if I really enjoy it, then I'll go pick up the physical issue. You know what I'm saying? So, the only book that I didn't grab, even though it is an awesome Adam Hughes cover, I don't really think that first issue is going to sell out. You know what I'm saying? There were a ton at my comic book shop. So, if need be, I'll go back and get it. So, um, But like I said, hope you're having a great week. Found everything you wanted. Uh, we'll go back to what we did back in the day here on this channel is after we go through the books we'll go through the comments from last week so make sure you stick around for that and uh, of course on Thursday nights you can always find us over on JLS Comics for Thursday's Comic Conversation at 8.30 there's a link in the description below so definitely check that out okay there's more things that I need to talk about like check out this website uh, comicbook.com every Monday I put up a new comic list so you know what's coming out when you go into the shop on Wednesday you know What's going to be there? Or you you at least hope you know. Oh, man. What is this? Heroes Con. Heroes Con. Also, this weekend is Atlanta Comic Con. Uh, this is the second annual Atlanta Comic Con. Uh, if you are a Power Rangers fan, you should probably go. There are a ton of uh, Power, Rela Power Rangers-related guests. I mean, of course, tons of comic guests, uh, movie, film, TV, everything that you can think of. But they were just really pushing like the Power Rangers stuff with their promotions lately. So I don't know if something big happened that I'm not aware of in that world or whatever. But So, uh, reason to come out if you're in Atlanta this week. If you are going and want to meet up or something, uh, definitely leave a comment or um, send me a message over on Instagram for Exhaust State Comics. Uh, I think that's in the description also. Um, but just direct message me there, meet up or whatever. I know a few of us are. There's a good number of us on Instagram in this area that uh, kind of talk and kind of plan up things. So it should be a good time. It should be a good time. Okay. So here we go. New books this week. I didn't go crazy like last week. Last week was what? Back issues and the Walmart stuff or whatever. But out of last week, I still got a couple Black Cat Walmarts. Um, three packs if anybody's looking for those that I'm willing to sell. And The Walking Dead, last issue, 193. Uh, I've got that for sale. If anybody's looking, just uh, like hit me up, let me know, and I'll you know pay me and I'll ship it to you. What's that? It's like a piece of plant. I don't know what that is. That's weird. All right. Anyway, books from this week. Here we go. We picked up War of Realms, the War of Realms, Omega issue number one. Uh, this should be. Should there even be a one on it? Should there? Should there really even be a one on this issue? Because it's a one shot. Uh, that, it's an Omega, so there can't be more than one, right? Uh, Frost Giants and Loki and stuff. Let's see. Well, there's the actual introduction of Valkyrie. So, Jane Foster's Valkyrie first appearance. We're definitely changing the title of this video. <laughs> we got our one independent book this week, which is Reaver, number one, from Justin Jordan, Rebecca Isaacs, and Alex Germeris? I don't know. Uh, but this looks nuts. If you can see it, hope you can. Um, and, you know, I guess there's, there's a lot of heat on this book for some reason. I'm not, I did not look into it of why. But this book it was limited at my shop to one per thirty dollar purchase again. So if you wanted two, you had to spend sixty bucks. Needless to say, I got one. But it's all good. Uh, supposed to be JLS, of course. Jesse he let us know, like well, let a few of us know yesterday to look out for this book. So I definitely grabbed it. Uh, it's you know sword and sorcery. It is a mature reader. So, make sure you're aware of that. What? Look at that awesomeness. <laughs> City on a mountain. There's basically a big torch in the middle of it. I mean, that's that's freaking cool. I don't know if something blew up, why that's on fire, or what's going on, but it looked pretty sweet. So, checking this sucker out. And like I said, I need to look up why, what the big deal about this book is. 
I didn't see any variant covers or anything like that. Like, my shop had this cover. That was it. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, next up, Champions, issue number seven. The search for Nova's helmet. Search for the helmet of Nova. Whatever. Whatever's. Ooh, Viv. All right, this book is just a lot of fun. If you haven't been reading Champions, um, Jim's up doing a good job on it. It's just it's been a fun book since the previous volume. Um, man, when did I jump on this book? Like before Song? I don't even know. I don't even know. A while back. But it's just been fun. It's a book. It's one of those fun books from Marvel that you know. It's kind of like Teen Titans. It's kind of like Teen Titans. There are going to be new character introductions and things like that, and it's just fun adventures plus mixed in with you know actual like life stuff that's going on with these young heroes so it's just it's a fun book in general so definitely one to check out if you aren't reading champions pick up an issue every once in a while and check it out it's pretty fun next up of course we got thor thor number 15 mike del mundo is still on the art of this book and that amazes me to no end to no end i'm not going to show you any of That's dumb. <laughs> Save the world. Stop the stink. Oh, no. All right, let's see. Uh, who it is? Yeah. Who, who that? All right, hold on. Yeah, I just, I don't even know what to show you in this book. This is going to be just like tons and tons of, I don't know, this and Omega this week. I'm just going to have to take some time, read those, let it all settle in. That Thor is now like the all-father. Um, what's his role going to be now versus, I don't I don't even know. Like it just, it changes a whole bunch of stuff. All right, next up, I guess we're going to DC finally. Uh, chapter 5. Of the Flash Year One, with issue seventy-four, Joshua Williamson is killing it on the Flash. This is, I don't know, one of my favorite DC books that's going right now. It's, oh man, it's so good, so good, so good. Look at that, not the Swamp Thing. Look at the Flash. This is a good book. Definitely a good story. If you're not a big Flash fan, or not even that. If you just haven't been reading this year one, I'd say pick it up or wait till it's in trade and then read it because it's going to read great in trade, I'm sure. All right, next up, we want the B cover of Batman issue 74 because that just looks pretty crazy. It's like he's going fishing for some big fish. That is a massive harpoon gun for Batman. Um. Oh yeah, the desert stuff. I forgot. We're still in the desert. I feel like this was last issue too. This is where last issue ended. Uh, Superman versus Superman Batman preview in here. Where is that? Let's see that. Yeah, Batman Superman. <gasps> Written by Joshua Williamson. That looks cool. This Okay, so Joshua Williams writing that. I guess we're going to try it out. Okay, really expensive book this week. Our 400-page Spider-Man book. Not really, but it's so thick that the cover just doesn't feel right. It's a 60-page, but realistically oversized because of the carnage insert in the middle here. So Amazing Spider-Man number 25. There were a ton of covers for this one, but... I didn't feel like buying the A and the B of any of them. Like, nothing just jumped out at me for another issue 25 of Spider-Man. They, you know, what was it? The volume before this or the volume before that? They did a $10 issue 25. So, anytime Spider-Man gets a 25, it's going to be expensive. Nobody cares. 
And the last book I picked up this week is Hawkman, issue number 14. This has been great. Um, I've really enjoyed Hawkman since it came back with Robert Vendetti. This one is going to reintroduce Shadow King? Shadow Thief. Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> Wrong. 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 Wrong company, but it's all good. Uh, Robert Venditti has been killing this. So, since issue one, bar none, just a, a great, great DC book. So, check it out if you can. If you've ever had interest in Hawkman, I would definitely say this is the, the run for you to pick up. Because it's going to give you that initial, that history. The full history that we've never gotten on the character until now, right? So, it's going to give you that whole full history. So, then you can read that, and then you can go back and read other Hawkman stories and you don't have that question nagging in the back of your head that we all did for so long about well, what's 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 going on with this how did it get like this what's going on I don't know so we figured it out Robert Venditti gave us the answer so thanks so much sir. all right so that was all the new books this week like I said not as crazy as last week um, because we had a shop closing picked up some extra stuff there was a Walmart stuff that came out it was nuts nuts um, I did get, what is it? I don't know if I showed that last week. I had to look. The Symbiote Spider-Man um, Walmart 3-pack. I grabbed that too just because I thought it was really cool. So, that's that's all the new books this week. That's all the new books this week. Played a Magic uh, pre-release over the weekend last Friday. Um, and that was cool. Actually, I did alright. I went 2-2, two and two, so that was fun. Won some cards. Uh, I was thinking about doing some Magic the Arena gameplay on here. So, might be doing that. Maybe seeing that pretty soon. Also, maybe some other games of some sort. Just something fun to do every once in a while, you know? Throw something up. So, let me know if that's something that y'all... I would probably be still be talking comics the whole time, though. So, it would just be a different visual. Um, and then, last but not least, what else was I going to say to you guys? Sunday morning comics, yeah. Um, I was sick over the weekend. Still don't feel 100%. So, that's why Sunday morning comics didn't happen last week. I apologize. Uh, barring... Anything unforeseen this week, this Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m., we'll be talking comics. So come on by and check that out. I really appreciate it. Okay, so now let's dig into the comments from last week, see what everybody said. Make sure you leave a comment this week, and I'll go over it next week. That's how easy that is. All right, so first up we had Ramy. Ramy? Uh, Ramy2480 says, or asked the question, actually, is getting a reprint of New Mutants 98... Uh, worth slabbing. I don't think they. I don't think they put first appearances of printings beside first print, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure what they do with like the reprints or the facsimiles. Um, they may say like that at the top somehow. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, you can always contact them and ask how that how they do that or what the label would look like for a book like that. But I mean, if it's something you want to get slab, do it. If it's just like I don't think slabbing a second print of that or a reprint of that I should say a reprint of that is gonna like it's not gonna be something that you can sell later and make a ton of money or something like that but if you just want it as something in your collection you know it's gonna present really well it's gonna look good in a slab do it I mean there are people that are slabbing true believers so you can slab anything <laughs> if it's a comic they'll slab it and, and like I said, it really just comes down to what, if it's value, if it has value to you to do that, you know, more so than anything. Because you got to remember, it is a reprint, and, you know, anything other than like an action comics reprint from the 70s or something like that, uh, those those are the most expensive reprints that I'm, that I'm aware of. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments what expensive reprints there are out there in the world. Um, so, yeah, I hope that kind of answers your question in a kind of roundabout way. Um You know what I'm saying? All right, next up, we got Gomez, comic collector. It says, Exile. What's up, Gomez? Um, <laughs> he said, beautiful to see you get some indie comics. I know, right? It's good. It's good. I'm kind of like just, you know, easing my way back in. I just lost. I think they just ended a whole bunch of them that I was reading at some point, and I just didn't find any new ones. I jumped on some new ones, and they just weren't what I wanted. But he said, uh, some great reads. Deceased was good. Uh, read Superman Maine in that issue. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Walking Dead, a shocker to the most. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, thanks for sharing with us, Broski. 
everybody's broski. That's right. Hashtag everybody's broski. That's Gomez. Um, and yeah, he said something about Sunday, so I apologize, man. But this Sunday we should be there. Uh, next up, we got Timothy, Canadian comic book hunter, always posting up good stuff on Instagram. So is Gomez. So go go look out for those guys. Timothy said, "How happy Fourth of July! Thanks, man. I know Canada Day was not too long ago, so I hope you had a good Canada Day. Um, hope you party safe. Uh, Walking Dead bummed me out. What will the what will be the next huge image book?" I don't know, Sen Sonata, I'm hoping, <laughs> since I got a couple of those. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know what, what the next image book will be that will blow up, say like you had Walking Dead, and then then you had Saga, you know. So Saga's still going, it's on its break, but what's going to be a new one to kind of rise up and take the place of The Walking Dead as that like big, like hardcore or main, I would say hardcore, but like main image title. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Spawn 300 and if that can, you know, ignite the fire that Spawn initially had when it started. Maybe. And then that could return it to its prominence. But, um, I really don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I wish I did. Um, it was like that Death and Glory book. I really liked the first issue. And then after that, that one just kind of fell apart for me. And I feel like that's been several... Um, image books as of later indies like I'll like a couple issues and then it just kind of falls apart or the book disappears so it is what it is um, but thanks so much Timothy I appreciate that Strictly Comics said very nice pickups thanks man Edwin part of our cast on Thursday's Comic Conversation and Holger Peterson our good buddy Holger Peterson Holger um, it it uh <laughs> YouTube's back to like flagging your comments <laughs> had to review it again that's so weird. I don't know why I would do that. But uh, Holger said, great haul video. I uh, have not read a single issue from this week's new comic book day yet. Yeah, brother. That's the way it goes. I, I always, mm, I don't say always, but nine times out of ten, I do the haul before I read the books. Um, I should probably, because cause if I didn't, if I read all the books and then did the haul, it would just be a review of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would probably... I don't think I would be able to hold back and just say, I got this. I'd be like, this happened, this happened, you know. So it would be a review. So that may be something in the future we'll think about doing. Uh, but Hoger said, but I will also check out the Wildstorm 24. That's right, everybody. Last issue. Last week. Issue 24. That's the last issue. It's a low print run. Something you may want to get. Plus, it's going to lead into Wildcat's return next week. Next week. Next month. In August. Sorry. So excited for that. See the stars number one. Yeah, that was actually that was actually pretty good. So I enjoyed that. I like that there are several like sci-fi books out of Image right now. We got Sea of Stars. There was Portal Earth. There was um, something else that I can't remember. But oh man, what was that other one? I can't remember. There's so many books. Uh, Arrow number one. Arrow number one was was pretty freaking good, wasn't it? Heathen number seven. Man, I'm still looking for Heathen number seven. Dang, I forgot to look for it today, but I didn't see it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if it was on the shelf, I would have seen it, so. Um, Space Bandits, number one, that was actually pretty cool. I got two two copies of that one. Uh, Lois Lane, number one, Deceased, number three. Hopefully, they are all good. Yeah, I know, right? Also, I'm interested in Fantastic Four, The Prodigal Son, number one, and Doom Patrol, Weight of the Worlds, number one. Um, and Analog is back. Yeah, yeah. Really an unusual week. So much new stuff. I know it was it was a crazy week. This week was you know like it's one of those months with the fifth week. So middle of the month you get annuals. So we had some annuals out from um, Marvel this week. Um, but they were like the what was that? It was like the mashup characters. So you had like hex hex or weapon hex number one annual and then I don't even know but whatever so that was all the new books that was the comments uh, like I said make sure you leave a comment this week and we'll go over it next week Sunday morning comics Sunday morning at 1030 and uh, check out comicbook.com alright everybody have a good one and thanks for talking comics with me today it's always a good time when you get to talk about comics right have a good one